we are seeing more people who are indicating they are open to receiving the vaccine. So that that's really a great thing. I think one of the most important things we need to do is help people understand the millions of doses we've given and the very minimal side effects, uh, serious side effects that we've seen. I know we've all heard of, of um, friends and family who've received the vaccine and had a day or two of fever and chills and feeling you know, pretty rotten. Um, but that's actually a good sign because that shows that your body is reacting to the antibodies in the that are being created through the vaccine and you're having a really good immune response. But the, the incidence of anaphylaxis continues to drop. That was a concern in the beginning that a number of people had. And 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 we've now have millions and millions of people who have received this vaccine. But also people want to know from their family. You know, if your mom got the vaccine, how how did she feel? If your sister or your brother got the vaccine, how did they feel? When we come through for the first round, certain number of people get the vaccine. And there's others who just want to hold back and say, let me see how it goes with my coworkers. And then when we've come back for the second time, been um, more willing, more people have been willing to accept the vaccine. So I think it's also understanding everyone has a different tolerance for risk and we need to keep offering over and over again. It's not like you get offered the vaccine once. It's that we keep saying to everyone, um, there's, there continues to be an opportunity for you. You want to wait and see? That is just fine. Um, and I think all of those things are really important as we move forward. 